Between September the 7th and 9th, La Vuelta will cover stages 13 to 15, the Astur Leonese triptych. Stage 13 starts for the first time in Candas, on the coast of Asturias. With riders battling over 175 kilometers, they will go on to a very steep finish at 1,600 meters, La Camperona. This will be the third time that this location hosts a stage finish, where riders are likely to see changes in the climate as well as in the general classification. La Vuelta siempre tiene que volver a Asturias y si es posible la última semana. ¿no? Estos últimos cuatro kilómetros sí que son duros, excesivamente duros, eh, de lo que le gusta al público. Stage 14 covers a total of 167 kilometers, starting at Cisdierna and going through four mountain passes. Teams will have to battle it out through the winding terrain, where leaders will have a hard time keeping their lead. Riders will face the last climb onto a new finishing location, Les Prayeres de Nava. La entrada un poquito complicada y una llegada que va a ser muy apasionante, ¿no? Y los últimos 300 metros de tierra, que es una cosa, digamos, y no solo en la vuelta, pero que le va a dar una cosa diferente. Lastly, on September the 9th, we come back to one of the classic stages of La Vuelta, the climb to Lagos de Covadonga, at 1,090 meters of altitude. This stage has been taken by legends like Marino Lejareta and Pedro Delgado. It is also the 21st time that Lagos is featured as a stage finish in La Vuelta. Over a course of 185 kilometers, it has one of the toughest profiles for the peloton, with more than 4,000 meters of accumulated inclination. Yo creo que este triángulo de, de etapas, estas tres, van a empezar un poquito a marcar quién puede y quién no puede ganar la vuelta. The finish line is not only one of the most iconic, but it's also a crucial one for the teams and the final chapter of the Astor Leonese triptych.